Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome into the Bulls Report by Chad Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman. It's been a little bit since we had a video for you guys. I'm taking some PTO right now, but still wanted to get up here and talk about our Chicago Bulls. And coming up on today's show, we're going to be breaking down this report that the Atlanta Hawks could be interested in trading Trey Young this offseason. Why it makes sense for Chicago coming up here in a bit. Also, Robin Lopez is still on the buyout market. We're going to hit on him. And then also, the hometown kid, Io DeSumo, will be taking a good amount of the second half of today's video, diving into some deep analytics, diving into some stats around Io's hot play, as the kid has been absolutely cooking for the Bulls over the past couple of games. Bulls are kind of on a hot streak right now, winning three of four. So we'll break down that as well. But first off, guys, even though I'm not in the chat sports office right now, we are having a little bit of a kind of a metric battle, if you guys want to say. So it's whatever channel gets the most likes on Valentine's Day win. So if you guys want to help me out, all you got to do, drop a like on today's video, get the love going. It's Valentine's Day. If you guys want to show some love to me, show some love to our channel here at Chat Sports. I would really appreciate it. The record right now is over a thousand. So I, there are a thousand people that watch this video. It'd be pretty cool if you guys all drop a like, but hey, let's dive into the report coming out of the NBA as this is the exact quote. So it was reported from the Stein or Mark Stein yesterday that rival teams believe Atlanta could choose DeJounte Murray rather than Trey Young this offseason. This was the exact quote. He said, perhaps a more significant reason why Trey trade talks have been more tangible or feel more than ever is that there appears to be a true market forming for Young for really the first time in his six seasons as the Atl or as a Atlanta Hawk, which, hey, that is definitely juicy, man. I mean, rumors are hot right now, and I've always been in the camp I think Trey Young's the most underrated player in the league. Um, I think what he did in a couple playoff runs ago was kind of just him scratching the surface of what he really could be. And I think people compare Trey Young to a guy like Steph Curry just because of the deep shooting ability. I think it just naturally, like, people see that and they're like, oh, they're the same guy. I think Trey Young, the most underrated part of his game and why I would be all in on the Bulls going out and trading for him is he just generates so many open shots. Like, there are not many other people in the NBA where I sit back and watch them, and it is possession after possession where they are just creating a double team, getting the defense in rotation better than that guy, Trey Young. And yes, maybe the shooting efficiency is what could turn people off. Like, he's not the most efficient player in the league, but he's also had to carry the Atlanta Hawks offense for the last couple of seasons. I'd be all in on going for getting Trey Young. I don't know what the trade could look like. I kind of was thinking a little bit, what if it's a little Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, and a couple first, and you go get Trey Young, and then your backcourt of the future is Trey Young at the one, Kobe White at the two, or then maybe like a little Io DeSumo, who we'll get here in a second. He, he's mixed in coming off the bench because Io has really turned himself into... I don't even want to call him a role player, but really one of the better role players in the league, and we'll talk about that. But in terms of Trey Young coming to Chicago, I think this would be a move for the Bulls, um, and why I would be in on it is because I love Kobe White. Kobe White's been playing his ass off this year. I love what DeMar DeRozan's done. I think he's really turned around his play. It's just what has been the issue for the Bulls since Jordan, since D. Rose, is not having that true superstar. And can Trey Young be a number one on a championship team? I don't know. We haven't seen that yet. But he battled with a Milwaukee Bucks team in the Eastern Conference Finals with really not that much help around him. And he took him to the wire every single game. And he beat the Philadelphia 76ers that year with no help. So I think Trey Young, in terms of like his ranking in the NBA, is probably around that top 15 player. But Man, I'll tell you what. I mean, if you could have Kobe White and Trey Young and be in your backcourt of the future with Io DeSumo mixed in there, him kind of being that grit and grind and just that elite, elite defender. And, you know, funny enough, I'm sure Trey Young would like to get on the Bulls just to not have to go against Io DeSumo anymore. Because Io DeSumo, any single time he plays Atlanta, he had a big game and he always just gets the best of Trey Young every single time. But in terms of trading for Trey Young, I don't know what a trade package would look like. I wouldn't trade Kobe White. I saw somebody on Twitter say maybe the Bulls give up Kobe White, Patrick. Williams Levine for Trey Young I think that's too much I would want to keep Kobe White just because I really think he's a special special player but I think the point being is the Bulls need a true star the Bulls need a superstar they need somebody to put butts in seats and maybe Trey Young you know could be that guy but let me know down in the comments section I'll make this the pinned comment on today's video would you trade for Trey Young give me a T for trade or give me a P for pass now I kind of want to get into a 
buyout candidate for the Bulls still that's still out there. It's Robin Lopez. I've seen a couple people ask me about him on Twitter. And listen, I'd be down to get Rolo, you know, back in the back in the organization. Um, didn't really play this much or didn't really play that much this past year for the Milwaukee Bucks, but he's still a great great center to have in the NBA. But I think with the way Drummond and Vucevic have been playing as lately. You don't really need that another big. I want to see the Bulls, though, go out and add a guy like a really physical, physical forward, like an Aaron Gordon archetype type of player. Like, I think that's the kind of key spot the Bulls are continue to miss uh, on the roster over the last couple of seasons, get that physical forward. I think we just need more size. And, you know, listen, we have centers. Like, we have Vooch and Drummond, but, like, you got to get that more physical four in there. So that's a guy that I would want to – or that I wouldn't necessarily target. I would want to go maybe a more physical forward route, but just had some people talk about, uh, you know, Robin Lopez for a little bit. But I do want to dive into everything you need to know about Io DeSumo's hot play as of lately as, man, the dude has just impressed the shit out of me. And I just want to kind of break down his game here in a second. But first, guys, I do want to tell you guys about today's sponsor of the Bulls Report. That is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. If you guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, we're going to give you guys a first deposit match up to $100 if you use code CLNS. I'm going to put that link for you guys in the comment section and description of today's show. Prize Picks, it's the most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I love using it. I use it every single day, um, even when I'm on PTO like I am right now. I will hop on Prize Picks. Any game I'm watching adds a little more juice, adds a little more fun to the game. So if you guys want to get involved in on the fun, make sure you guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. We'll give you guys a first deposit match up to $100. Get hooked up today. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Choose two or more players, more or less on some sad types, and you guys can start seeing the um you guys can start seeing the cash rolling today prizepicks.com slash clns all right let's talk about it io DeSumo and his hot play as of lately because after the game get the, against the atlanta hawks man he was just special i mean in 39 minutes he was 12 of 18 from the floor he was he had 29 points seven assists which was very underrated out of his game i don't think he's eclipsed over seven assists this whole season i think that was as high as he's only averaging 2.7 on the year um you know he's had a couple games here and there where he's you know gotten up there but you know listen the thing is with Iowa DeSumo and the way I love his development um we can kind of touch on this is you know he came into the league second round pick from Chicago was a defensive minded point guard you know that was his backbone that's what was going to get him paid and you know we saw that rookie year the way he played the game he picked dudes up full court he had that you know physical physical presence in a backcourt that you need and then he's starting to develop his offensive game. I mean, listen to these shooting splits since he started really playing here. Uh, 4 of 9, 7 of 10, 6 of 11, 6 of 11, 5 of 12, 8 of 11, 7 of 10, 7 of 16, 3 of 6, 4 of 5, 7 of 12, 12 of 18. And the thing I love right there is his shots just come in the flow of an offense. I mean, the last two games, think about this. 5 of 7 against Atlanta in a big-time Bulls win. Against the Magic, which they should have won in overtime, he was 5 of 8. Like, he's shown an ability to really improve that three-point shot. And if you combine the three-point shot with his defensive ability, like, he can really be one of the better role players we have in the NBA. I don't know if he'll ever be a star. I just don't think he has that in his game. But in terms of being a guy like Bruce Brown, Josh Hart, like those grit and grind guys who have a little more skill to their game, like, Io could do that. And honestly, I don't even like comparing Io to those guys because I think he's better. I think he's just a better basketball player than them. I don't know what I don't know what his max potential is. I was trying to think of like a comp in my head of like what he could develop into, but man, in year three, the kids I mean, the kids taking over. I mean, averaging now double digits on the year, 50% from the field. Like he has just really impressed me. I mean, as a second round pick and he's playing for his hometown team, you know, the Chicago Bulls, like it just it just really impressed me what he has done. So listen, if you guys want to show Io some love down in the comment section. Type those jersey numbers, type those 12s, because the dude's been on a tear. I mean, 29 points, 19 points, 10 points, 18, 16, 21, 11, 18, 13, 20, 10, 10, 21. Like, it's just me going down his game log. I mean, the dude's been hooping, and he just plays basketball the right way. He's a winning basketball player. And it kind of reminds me of, like, you know, I think these guys that go to college and, you know, have success in college, like the Josh Hart's, like the Villanova players, the Gonzaga players, uh, you know, even like Virginia, like when they've had a good run, like 
I feel like they come out just so much more polished just because they've had so much good coaching in their career. And Brad Underwood at Illinois, I think he did a great job with Io DeSumo. And I think he's a big reason why we're seeing this hot play right now. But I want to close out today's show showing Io some love. Type those jersey numbers. Type those 12s down in the comment section. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.